Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you a terrific recipe for Valentine's Day that's perfect for gifting. So if you have a special Valentine that you wanna bring a sweet treat to, whether that be a boyfriend, girlfriend, or a teacher, or really anybody you love, a Linzer Heart cookie is a great idea. They're also really simple to make too, and most of it can be made in advance. So let me show you how to make them. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is beat up a cup of butter in an electric mixer. Now you're basically just looking for that butter to become pale in color and basically double the volume. At that point, we're going to add the sugar. So for these cookies, I really like to use powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar, as you may know it, because it's a lighter sugar and will incorporate a bit better into the butter. Because this is a sandwiched cookie where you're dealing with like two cookies, you wanna make sure that those cookies are nice and light and kind of melt in your mouth. Otherwise, it can be a bit heavy. You wanna just add it slowly and in stages because it is pretty dusty and if you put the whole thing in there, you're gonna make a big cloudy mess. So just go ahead and take it in probably thirds and then you're just gonna beat that up until it's nice and incorporated. At that point, we're going to add one egg and one egg yolk. The egg yolk is just gonna create a really nice, rich flavor to our cookie. At this stage, I also like to add two teaspoons of almond extract. You'll find it'll get a really nice, subtle almond flavor to these cookies, which I think is such a great flavor combination with the raspberry jam. Then we're gonna prepare our dry ingredients. So in a small bowl, you're going to add one and a half cups of almond meal. Now almond meal or almond flour is essentially just ground almonds. So if you can't find it, I'll put some information in the description on how you can actually make your own. But I find, especially if you live in the States, you can find it easily at Trader Joe's and it's such a time saver. But in fact, you should know that it's never near the baking aisle or near the flowers. It's always in the nut section. So you can go and find it there and you'll find a big bag of it, it's great. Then to that, we're also going to add two cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and just whisk that up until it's all combined, and then we are going to add this flour mixture to our butter mixture, just in thirds, beating in between each addition until it's nice and combined. Then we're gonna remove our dough from the bowl and we're going to separate it into two mounds and place it on some wax paper. Then you can flatten it into some discs and wrap it up. And we do need to refrigerate this dough for at least two hours. Overnight is even better, just because it's gonna be so much easier for us to roll out and cut out our little cookies. So you do wanna plan ahead and make sure that you refrigerate it in advance. Now to make our cookies, it does make it a bit easier if you have a Linzer cookie cutter. So you can usually find these at your kitchen stores or I've also put a link in the description to where you can find them online. And if you'd like to make these kinds of sandwich cookies, they are a great investment because they usually come with a base and several little inserts that you can swap out to make different cutouts. So we're gonna be using the heart cutout to make our heart-shaped cookie. So we're gonna take our first batch of dough, roll it out on a floured surface, just to about an eighth of an inch thick, and then we're gonna cut out all of the bottoms. And you'll see it really helps when the dough is nice and cold because it'll help us get a nice clean cut. And then once you've done about 12 bottoms, you can go ahead and just pop that in the refrigerator while you prepare the tops. I find if the dough becomes too warm, it begins to lose its shape as it starts to bake. So it's better that the dough is nice and cold. So at this point, we're gonna take the heart insert to our cookie cutter, we're gonna insert it in the center, and then we're gonna cut out all the tops. And you'll see it'll have a beautiful little heart in the center. So you can go ahead and transfer that to a parchment lined cookie sheet as well, and then take the bottoms, pop those in the oven, and we're gonna bake at 350 Fahrenheit for just 10 minutes. You'll know when they're done when they start to just rise up a little bit and become puffed and look like they're set. You actually don't wanna take them all the way where they begin to get golden brown because then they'll just get a little too crumbly on you. So just go ahead and take them out and what we're gonna do is allow them to cool on the cookie sheet. And the benefit of allowing the cookies to kind of continue to cook this way is that the cookies will firm up due to the heat of the cookie sheet but they won't become extra brown as they would if we left them in the oven. Then we're gonna pop the tops in the oven at 350 for just nine minutes. They take less time to bake because they don't have as much surface area as the bottoms because we've done the cutout. So they're a little bit quicker to bake. And then we're gonna allow them to cool the same way just on our cookie sheet. And this whole stage can be done the day before. So all you have to do is just lightly cover them with foil and allow them to just stay on your countertops and they will be all ready to go the next day. Then to assemble, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dust all the cookies lightly with some powdered sugar 
Then we are going to transfer some raspberry jam into a pastry bag. I find that it's really a lot easier to work with the jam when it's in a pastry bag because you'll get a lot more precision that way, but you could just spoon it out too if you didn't have a pastry bag. And then we are going to take the raspberry jam and just create a little dollop in the center of each bottom. Now the cookies are ready for their tops, so we're gonna sandwich them all. And then you'll start to see that beautiful raspberry jam come through the center of that heart cutout. You could take your cookies and place them on a cookie plate, or you could package them up in a decorative tin. I find that these are such charming cookies, especially around Valentine's Day. They're not that hard to make and they are so delicious. The combination of that crumbly cookie with that faint almond flavor mixed with the raspberry jam is just the perfect little treat to enjoy on Valentine's Day. I hope you give this to somebody special and catch their attention with these. And I will see you next week for another easy recipe. Until then, bye.